In this video, we'll make a flower vase using the Surface workspace. Click on Surface, and I'm going to sketch a few shapes and loft between them to make this vase. Click on Create Sketch, click on the plane, And I'll make some circles now. I can type in the exact size, but I'm just eyeballing sizes. Note this coincident. That's a constraint that is shown up for the two concentric circles, and I'll need to delete it later, or I won't be able to move those circles independently. Let's put in a square, and then let's make an interesting spline shape for the top of the vase. Finish sketch. I'm going to right click, choose Edit Sketch, Select that constraint and delete it. Now I need to move all these sketches vertically. Choose Sketch Objects. The widget needs to be placed along a line, not along one of the vertices, because if you put it on a vertice, this is what happens. So let's try that again. Move. Sketch objects. Click along a line. And let's move this up. This will be the height of the vase between here and here. I want this to be an organic shape, so I'm just moving these randomly to see what kind of result I get. And again, I'm able to move this circle independently of this one because I removed the constraint. Now let's see what happens when I loft between all these. Create, loft, click, 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 click. And that's a nice looking shape, don't you think? Now I'll come underneath it, create, patch, click, and I've got a bottom to it. All I need to do now is thicken this so that it could be 3D printed. So I'll click on the solid workspace, create, thicken, select, And there you have it.